education um, due to unfortunate injuries that I got in the military. So um, working in fabrication shops is always fun and everything, but unfortunately I have to come to terms with certain things. So. I had to do an office job now. I wanted to continuously progress in fabrication and to go from just metal to be able to understand the digital side of it and create on a computer and then be able to CNC and cut and then weld, it just brought it all together much better. Um, mainly working on classic cars, motorcycles, I want to do like more advanced, more precise work for them and try to design the frames, the parts, the, all the sheet metal and everything, battery boxes. Um, I thought being at the shop I was at before wasn't giving me much opportunities to advance in the career. So uh, finding out that the program was going to be available uh, shortly after I finished the first program, uh, I decided to sign up and check everything out. And it's been probably one of the best decisions I've made. Um, definitely seeing everybody's toys uh, growing up here in Southern California has helped uh, persuade me to, to be in the field. Uh, the first course has helped me to understand how to construct everything uh, with the roll cages, suspension, everything. This course definitely uh, shown me how to design it all and what are the ins and outs and what can and cannot be done. So I decided to take the digital design program because I wanted a better opportunity. I know, you know, the fundamentals takes me so far. I wanted to advance and see what else I can, what other doors I can really open. Uh, my main interest was just getting to uh, understand the machines. Cause I, got, I like welding and everything, but uh, I want to see the manufacturing. I'd have to say everything has been my favorite. Um, just getting behind a computer again. I did graphic designs in the military and uh, that was really comfortable for me, but also learning uh, just the different programs, um, being able to, to fool around with the guys and hang out and really ask questions from Joe and Jeff as well. The big one was um, the laser and the CNC. The laser and CNC, you can create anything out of just metal blocks if you want. You just have to know what you want to make, create it digitally. The big one for us as well was SolidWorks. The software was amazing. You use it, it integrates to any, any uh, hardware and you just get it to function. The favorite, my favorite project when I was here was, I had fun in all of them. I didn't find the favorite. For me, the most of the time was the, the big one was the, the CNC. That was legitimately my favorite because it, it, uh, it went into what I wanted to do. So it, it broadened my horizons there. So I was able to, since I became more educated, my ideas changed. That I really liked, that I learned, was the laser. I never thought you can actually cut with the laser. I thought lasers were just a point in classrooms. Um, I guess my favorite project would be my, the hammer that we made. It was very intricate in the way we built it to where we, I didn't know anything about anodizing. So I got to learn about that and how it really affects how you do things in the machine. Um, just seeing the, uh, the details that go into it and um, the skill level that you have to learn. Uh, it's very, very uh, precise work. So learning how to uh, wrap images on a circle piece, which I didn't even know that was possible until I came here. Um, working with the CNC lathe and the CNC mill. Um, worked a little bit with the manual lathe and the manual mill uh, last time I was here in the fundamentals, but seeing these things in actions is a, a whole new world. Probably the hammer. I think a lot of uh, skilling. We had to like, program all the tools for this CNC's and everything. Um, the goal for me is uh, to continue my education, of course, because I believe in education, but I'm starting my own wheelchair company and I'm going to fabricate, of course, other things on the side of motorcycles, but I want to get into uh, more R&D and start being able to produce more, higher quantity. Maybe have a CNC shop, which I just have a bunch of machines to cut everything, and then I can just 
ship them? Uh, future wise, up to 10 years down the road, I'd like to own my own business. I would definitely like to go into um, more of definitely like the automotive world. I've always been a car guy, uh, hot rods, muscle cars, low riders, uh, trucks, making things either go fast or dump on the floor or even uh, lifting it to the sky. So I uh, definitely want to go into business for myself because I have a problem taking orders sometimes. Oh wow, uh, Chip Foos, that'd be, he's a, he's a great, I'm, he has a real big admirer, and if you're listening, I'm looking to her job, but uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, he's just a real great, humble man, um, hot rodder for life, muscle king, um, just uh, building people's dreams is what uh, he does, and me, myself, always uh, liking to help people. Um, I, I admire him a lot and I respect uh, the designing that he has because he does everything by hand but I think um, him having a digital designer would uh, <clears throat> possibly help him in the future also. So my dream career is actually making car parts um, for a company out in Azusa because I love what they do in the industry and how they actually portray themselves to do bigger and better things for the consumer. Well, my actual dream career is to run my own shop. Um, eventually I want to start my own shop and build my own parts, work on my own bikes, work on my own cars, so working for myself is not what I want to do. Uh, my passion right now is to uh, get as much experience in the field as I can. Uh, I'm thinking about doing my own business down the road, but definitely learning from those who have done it before me is a great opportunity. For me, the designing side of it more enticing to me because you can create more. It gave me an overview as to how to deal with it in essence. It gave me an understanding as to how it functioned and how the business side of it was because they explained okay you now know how to use all this machinery and you understand the software but now you have to start understanding the business side of it. So we started understanding more paperwork more of the filing, more of the stuff you give to other people to have them create it, which opened my mind up beyond comprehension because now I learned how to, I can design it and then just send it somewhere else to be created and then just get it back at my house, which saves me time, money, and effort. I definitely say uh, bring a notebook, write everything down that you hear, um, ask questions, they will not hesitate to answer them. They will make fun of you for asking them, but you'll get your answer eventually. Stop making excuses. Push yourself. Stop being hungry, quote unquote, and start starving. You have to want it so bad that that's all you think about. You do that, you'll be fine. If you're just hungry, you'll get passed up. Uh, definitely come in open-minded and with as much humility as possible, even if you do have a background, because uh, with Jeff's experiences and Joe's experiences, um, they definitely, me being an amateur, but being intermediate now, um, uh, they can teach you a lot, especially if, you, if you're willing to listen. Same thing why I came uh, in early and stayed late, just to learn a few more tricks and trades. Um, come in with an open mind, definitely, and be prepared to sit there and work because it's not an easy thing to do. It is very rewarding. <laughs> uh, don't get mad at the computer. Pay attention, take your time, ask questions. Yeah, you don't need experience as long as you So pay. much for tolerating me, and definitely, uh, I know I can be a goofball sometimes and very hard-headed, but... Um, Thanks for tolerating me as long as you did. Six months flew by. Um, I wasn't expecting to make some friends, but I did. Um, but all ex-military are kind of like that, so we we give a lot of uh, <laughs> it's a lot of back and forth and everything. But uh, big shout out and big thanks to the Fab School for even designing this program and um, considering me as a student. And uh, thank you for all the skills. Instructors, thank you. Um, pretty much everything you've done and all the insight you've you've given me. Uh, my classmates, just keep pushing forward. You'll you'll get it eventually. Yes, I just want to say thank you for the past six months. It's been a tough ride. I know that, and you know for everything they've taught us and everything they've done for us. You know, I, I really am grateful. Uh, I just want to thank Jeff and Joey. I mean, they 
definitely uh, helped when we didn't understand the, the programs or the machines. Oh, uh, sure. I'd like to thank Jeff and Joey for helping me out. So, Jeff has been great, had fun, learned a lot. So, practice, practice, practice. It's key. You can't just walk away from something and come back to it and expect to have grown. So, you have to practice. Uh, it's important that you do this, maybe not every day, but as often as you can. Um, draw everything in the house, draw everything in the garage, make it look cool. Um, Organize your garage the way you'd like it to look. Draw some of your tools, but uh, always practice. That's how, that's how you become valuable to an employer. What's up, guys? I wanted to start off by telling you that this is my third take. This is not easy. Um, we at the Fab School have become more than just instructors to you guys. We've become family uh, and friends. Uh, the, the Fab School. Familia is, is very, very strong. Um, goes back quite a ways, but uh, super proud of every one of you guys. Um, I know that six months seemed like it went by fast for me, but uh, I wanna thank you guys for going through the, the very first Fab School Digital Design and Manufacturing class. Um, I know it's uh, just the, the, the end of the program for you guys, but it's also a very exciting time because it's the start of your guys' hopefully very successful career. Um, you guys are all smart enough, you can work hard enough, um, just take everything that we've done and put it all together and you guys will succeed in life. Um, nothing will be handed to you. You guys will have to work hard for every inch of it, uh, but don't give up, don't put your head down, um, don't put your tail between your legs. Uh, work hard and you guys will be successful in what you guys do. Um, again, I appreciate everything um, that you guys have done for us as well. Uh, it, it was um, a, a great journey and I can't thank you guys enough and I, I wish you guys the best. Don't forget, if you ever need anything, we're here. We're a uh, phone call, an email, uh, or text message away. So um, thank you guys and good luck.